Hi, my name is Rodrigo Kamein. I'm a software developer with Saber Travel Network. Today, I'm going to show you how you can consume the workflow extension for low fare shopping. Our example from today is going to enable us to stop the low fare shopping request, get a contract code from an external source, and send the results back to Saber. In our project, we are going to make use of the low fare shopping extension point. To see all available extension points, please go to the following chapter in our help guide under Workflow Extensions, Exposed Workflow Extension Points. We are going to consume the following extension point, dynamo.air.lowfareshopping. Our first step is to create a package with an interface that will have a single method, execute. This method will return the object flow extend point command and will receive an object of the same type, flow extend point command. Our next step is to have a class that implements the interface. And in our manifest.mf file, we need to add the following dependencies. com.saber.edge.dynamo.cdm and com.saber.edge.dynamo.ext.cdm. Once the interface and class are created, we need to map the interface and class to our plugin XML file. Please go to extensions. Please add the following extension point com.saber.edge.dynamo.flow.flow extend point.registry. Add a new element, flow extension point. The following details should be obtained in the help guide. The flow ID is going to be dynamo.air.lowfareshopping. The extension point ID is going to be before the shopping request. And the callback service should be the fully qualified name of our interface. Colon, the name of the method. Our next step is to create a folder named osgi-inf with an XML file that's going to contain our service configuration. In our project, the XML file is the following. It has a name, just for reference, a class, which is the class that's implementing the interface, and the interface, which is the fully qualified name of our interface. Our last step to configure the workflow extension is to make Saber aware that this configuration exists. This is done by going to the manifest MF file and adding the following tag, service component colon and the path to our XML file. If this is configured correctly, when Saber Red performs a low fare shopping request, in our class, in our execute method, we are retrieving the contract code from an external source, and then we are then getting an instance of Red App Air shopping request which is going to be the request for low fare shopping sent to Saber. We are modifying the request object with the contract code that we've obtained above. Mm -hmm. 
red app air shopping request is part of the data model exposed by the extension point. If the configuration is done correctly, when Sabre Red performs the low fare shopping request, we will receive the context, be able to retrieve the contract code from an external source, and modify the Red App Air Shopping Request object with our own custom contract code. Our last step is to get an instance of Flow Extension Point Request Wrapper and set its operation to Modify. Signaling Sabre Red that we are modifying the original request. Our example is going to show a model pop-up dialog with the label contract code. This is only to signify that we are intercepting the low fare shopping request before it is sent back to save. The results will be shown on screen with the modified contract code. This has been the workflow extension point tutorial for low fare shopping. Please review the sample, let us know if there's any questions, and see you next time. Thank you.